Hello everyone. So it's Lisa and I'm here with my mom, Linda. Hello. Thanks for joining us. And we're making some oatmeal raisin cookies because it's mom's favorite kind. <laughs> so this is what we're making. So I already have the dough ready um, just so we can get it, you know, on the cookie sheets. And we've got all the stones out. We're going to put them out. We're going to put them in the oven. We're going to bake them. And then we'll certainly, you know, show you when we're done. Um, I'm going to use the scooper because it's just makes them all even and the same size. How did you used to do it, Mom? You didn't have a scooper, did you? No, no, I didn't have a scooper. Actually, I just dropped it on the, the teaspoon. Or... It says to roll them. I guess just every recipe is different. Mm -hmm. And it, this one says to roll them in a, two, uh, in a ball the size of a walnut. So this is a one teaspoon, small scoop, so it works out well. And then it says to take a fork dipped in sugar, and then you push them down like you would like a peanut butter cookie. That's what we were talking about. Um, so that's kind of neat, different, um, but that's not what you usually do, is it? No, no, I don't. Now see, when, when I would do mine, I would just leave it <clears throat> like these. Of course, they'd have to be farther apart because they spread. Mm. But so you're gonna push... Do I have too many on there? Do no, you? because you're going to push them down and then they won't spread anymore. Yeah. We're going to spread them. That's probably not. Mm -hmm. So then we just take the... See? So don't push them down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that. So we just have some sugar and it said just to push them down um, with the sugar. So I have like four stones that we're going to use. Um, pizza stone, small and large. Um, then I also have the rectangular stone, which is the actual cookie sheet for the stone stoneware, which I love making cookies on. I don't even use a cookie sheet anymore. This is all I ever use is my stones when I make cookies. Um, stones are excellent for everything, not just cookies. So. No, that's true. That This is the bar pan that I use all the time for sheet, sheet dinners, mm -hmm. um, one pan dinners. Um, you can do pork chops. You top them with the apple butter and some rosemary. Put them in the oven with um, sweet potatoes and apple cut up with it. And, oh, that is a one pan meal. That's really yummy. <clears throat> That's for sure. The mom's ahead of me. I gotta hurry I've up. had more practice. Right? Yes. I'm still scooping. So I hope everybody's having a good day. We just wanted to jump on together and make something together. And I said to mom, what do you want to make? What do you want to bake? Let's bake something. Well, oatmeal, raisin are my favorite cookies. So guess what? We're making them. Come to find out, it's my husband's favorite too, so we're gonna have to share. Yeah, we're gonna have to share. You know. Shucks. Right? But. <laughs> I can take him home and he can come over there and eat There you go. <laughs> that works too. So shout out below and tell us what kind of cookie is your favorite? And what do you use? Do you have a secret tool that you use to make your cookies with? I used my KitchenAid mixer, got our batter all mixed up together, and added the oats in, and then added the raisins, which I'm not a big raisin fan, but these are mom's favorite cookies, so I would put dried cranberries in them, and maybe some walnuts or something, but and this is what we're making for mom. Seems how it was Mother's Day. Yeah. We had a great Mother's Day. We had dinner. We had brisket, vegetables. I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. Yeah. Lisa's son did the cooking of the brisket. Boy, he did an excellent job. It was on the grill, and then I did some veggies. I took veggies, um, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, and I made a cream cheese sauce with cheddar cheese and parmesan and cream cheese and melted it down and topped the veggies with it with breadcrumbs and yum. 
It's always a good way to get everyone to eat some vegetables. Well, see, very my, good. Yeah, my dad doesn't like vegetables, and he likes that. So see, we can sneak it in. See, it's not just the little kids that you can't get to eat your veggies. It's the big ones, too. So you got to sneak it in when you can. And again, she's ahead of me. So we did fire up the oven, but it's just not ready yet. So as soon as the oven's ready, we are going to pop in our first stone. Now, see, we did not do any greasing on these stones. No greasing. Don't ever have to do that. If you are worried that your cookies or whatever you're making is going to stick, you can put a light coating of olive oil or canola oil. You don't need very much. Um, this is a porous material. Um, and I've baked cookies over and over again. And literally, I'm going to take... Our, this is called the fish spatula, which it's huge. So I can literally almost pick up four cookies, at least three at a time. So that's how I take them off my stones and there's no cookie stuck to the bottom. But remember, the stones get hot, so it continues to cook. So you're gonna take them out of the oven. It says to bake them for eight to 10 minutes. Then you're gonna allow them to sit on the sheet for another five minutes. So sometimes you have to adjust your time in the oven a little bit for that because you know your stone is going to keep continuing to cook for that five minutes. So just keep an eye on them. I usually check. So I'm going to set it for eight minutes because I'm doing it on the stone and I'll check them. They might not be ready. I hope everybody's having a great day and we will be sure to post a picture of some of our cookies when they come out of the oven as soon as we get them done. We'll post a picture of our finished product. Thanks for watching. And don't